on his feet. She had a revelation of who Jesus was. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While others looked down on her, despised her for doing, doing that. that. She had, had the, the revelation, revelation that, that Jesus, Jesus was, was more than gold. gold. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May, May Jesus, Jesus be gold, gold, more than more gold, than gold in, in your in life. life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Almighty God. We bow before your throne. We bless your name, Almighty God. We bow before your throne. then we are going to miss what God is doing in our time and in our season. Oh yes. More especially in this season that we are in, it's a critical and a prophetic season that you and I, we should not just chase after miracles, after prophecies, but we must seek Him. We must understand 
our assignment as the body of Christ and when I talk about the body of Christ I'm talking about you and you as an individual who are you you must know who you are why you exist in this generation why you are in Zoe ministry amen it is very important to understand and to know that in Psalm 103 verse number 7 can you read for me sir I just want to talk to you I just want to talk to you read for me Psalms 103 yes number 7 Verse 7 you can read he gave knowledge of his way to Moses he did what he gave knowledge of his way to Moses he gave knowledge of his ways to Moses my vision said that he gave he, that, that, that he made known his ways to Moses then his knowledge his act unto the children of Israel thank you his act unto the children of Israel so the act of God belongs to the babies in the Lord but the ways you can sit sir but the ways of God belongs to those that are mature in the things of God people that have worked with Elohim people that have worked with God those are the people that God gives the knowledge to know about him are you with me amen you must know the ways of God and not the act of God oh, yes. what are the act of God the miracles Amen. the signs and the wonders oh, the yes. raising of the dead those are the acts of God the, of the way that God you know he shows himself when you see in the book of, 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 of Exodus that when he was delivering the children of Israel from Egypt and to the promised land he, he showed the children of God the act of God by night was the pillar of, of fire by day a pillar of cloud why the act of God so that your faith can be boosted so amen. that your faith can be in him amen but when you read through the journey and through the the the, the exodus the 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 the, 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 the tronomy and up to the time of of joshua you find that there was a point where the cloud stopped moving with them there was a point where the fire stopped moving with them why because he knew that at that time the children of god the children of israel they have grown spiritually now they know him so he needed them to walk by faith and not by sight if you study your bible he showed them the act of god the miracles the power the signs of god the wonders of god by by, 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 sending uh, to, 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 to Pharaoh the, the, you know, the, the, the judgment that they saw. That was the act of God. But yet Moses and Aaron, they have passed that dimension. They were in the ways of God, trying to know the purpose and the assignment that God has called them for. The Bible says, I know the plan that I have for you. Plans to prosper you. Amen. Plans to give you a, a better future. Amen. And that is what Moses sought for. He sought for the plans and the purpose why he was in that generation and what was the assignment? What was the assignment that God gave him? What was the purpose? All of us, we can agree that the time that we gave our life to Jesus, we saw the acts of God. You just pray today, God answers your prayers. You just give tomorrow, tomorrow there is a miracle. You just fast tomorrow you find that there is a breakthrough that's the act of God God wanted you to have faith in him because he understood and he knows that you are still a child so what you need is faith no wonder Paul said that we walk by faith and not by sight oh, yes. but it's so sad that in our time in our generation that many people believers they are walking by sight today they see it they believe in him tomorrow things get tougher they back up from him are you walking by faith or by sight are you knowing the ways of god or the act of god that why that is why i said that christianity is a revelation 
if you understand that Christianity is a revelation, you come to Joey Embassy knowing that my purpose here, my assignment here is to save him, to save the man of God. And I'm walking by faith and not by sight. I'm walking by faith not to please anyone, not that any person can see the kind of dress I'm putting. No, but that I came to save him by faith. For I know that my reward is in heaven. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. Are you with me? Amen. The ways and the acts of God. Where are you? Where are you? Romans 1 verse 5 verse 9. I want to align someone today spiritually. Amen. You can read. Romans 1 verse 5. Yes. Through him. Okay, let me read. It's okay. Let, 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 me, let me read. We can read something. Through him, yes, and for his name's sake, uh -huh. we received grace and apostleship, yes, to call people from among Romans all Gentiles. 1 verse 9. Romans 1, verse 9. The Bible says, God, whom I save with all my heart in preaching the gospel of his son, is my witness. How constantly I remember you. Okay, let me read from my vision. Anyone from KJV? I want the one that said that, whom I save with my spirit. Let me read from my vision. Romans 1 verse 9. Let me read. Let, let me read. It's okay. I can find it. This thing is fine. Uh, Romans 1 verse 9. For God is my witness. So God is your witness. Say my, God is my witness. My God is my witness. Say, God is my witness. God is my witness. In my closet. For God is my witness. Whom I save with my spirit. In the gospel. Whom I save with my spirit. Oh, yes. So you save God with your spirit. Moses and Aaron were spiritual men. Spiritual men, they don't look at the act of God. They look at the ways of God. They know him. They know how we move, how we operate, how we navigate, how we move with three servants. Oh, yes. So he said that God whom I save with my spirit. God whom I save with my spirit, not with my mind, not with my flesh, not with my calculation, but with my spirit. We save God with our spirit. When you were born again, the Holy Ghost came in your spirit. And what was saved? Your Holy Ghost, your spirit was saved. It, your Holy Spirit, your spirit was renewed. It was enlightened. So when it was enlightened, then there was a fellowship that started between you and Him. So you started saving God with your spirit. Amen. Amen. Say Amen. with my spirit. Say I save God with my spirit. I save God with my spirit. Say, I save God with my spirit. I save God with my spirit. Beloved, we save God with our spirit, not with our mind. Not with our emotions. The reason why many people they come to church, they look at the man of God, they look at the usher, they look maybe at the usher or or the or the usher. They maybe they get offended and because of offense they will go back home. Maybe because I said something that hurt you, you go back home. You are serving God with your flesh, not with your spirit. But if you serve God with your spirit. You are not going to be led by the flesh, but you shall be led by the spirit. Are you with me, child of God? Amen. Many believers today, they are serving God by the flesh. When they come to church and the flesh tells them that the miracles are not happening, they will go. When they come to church, they find that the word is being preached and they are waiting for the miracles, which are the act of God and nothing is happening, they will go. But those that are serving God by the spirit are the people that are still, they will stay. Are the people that are going to walk in the ways of God. Let me show you something. Are you with me? Romans 7 verse, 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 verse uh, 6. Let me read this one. 7 verse 6. Romans 7. Let me read. It's fine. I'll read. Sir. Don't worry. Thank you so much for your, for your effort. And your. Romans 7 verse 6. But now we have been delivered from the law. Having died to what we were held by. So that we should save in the newness of the what? Spirit. The spirit in the newness of what spirit 
in the newness of what? Spirit. So we serve God in the newness of the spirit. Not with ordinances of the letter. So we serve God in the newness of the spirit. Kumupachi. In the newness of the spirit. I prophesy that may you serve God in the newness of the spirit. In the newness of the spirit. In the newness of the spirit. Of the spirit. That is why Paul the other day said I have been crucified with Jesus Christ. It is no longer I Max that live. But the Lord Jesus Christ lives in me. I pray for you. Oh, yes. In this season may you serve God in the newness of your spirit. Amen. May you walk by the spirit. My God, my God. Oh yes. My God. The Bible says in Romans should be five. Verse five coming down there. It talks about that because the love, he said that hope does not disappoint. Because the love of God has been poured in our spirit. So without the Holy Ghost, you and my, you and I cannot love. Without moving by the Spirit of God or serving God in the Spirit, we cannot love. We can walk in envy. We can walk in jealousy. We can walk in murder, in resentment. May you rise today to serve Jesus in the newness of the Spirit. May you rise today to serve Jesus by the Holy Ghost. Beloved, it's not by might nor by power, but by the Spirit. Before Jesus came in my life, I never knew to love, I never knew to worship, but when He came in my spirit, I was a born, I was a child of God. I became born again, and by the Holy Ghost, I can cry out, Abba, Father, Abba, Father, not by myself, but by the Spirit of God. Today, I came to talk to you oh, that yes. God is calling you to a place of sanctification, oh, a yes. place of brokenness. Amen. A place of saving, Amen. a place of brokenness and of saving, a place of love. Oh, Where yes. when you save him, you save him by the spirit in the newness of the spirit, not in the newness of the flesh. Preach, I preach wish the of God. Amen. Christianity is the revelation. When you save God. By the newness of the spirit, you know the ways of God, how he operates, the, 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 the principles of the word of God. You, no one will come and tell you that today you have to die. You will do it automatically. No one will come and tell you that today you have to fast. You will do it automatically. No one will come and tell you that today you have to pray. You will do it automatically. Not by might, but not by power, but by the spirit of God. The other day, Paul said, as many as are led by the Holy Ghost, are the sons of God. Father, may you raise your daughters and the sons that shall be led by the Holy Ghost. In Amen. Jesus' mighty awesome name. Amen. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Mark chapter 7, verse don't go there. Let me quote. Okay, let, let, let's just read. Because I'm not trying to rush. I just want to help you. Because if I don't do this, God will judge me. So I have to do it. Mark chapter 7, verse 13. Oh, Rabbi Shandakai. Jesus, help us today to come to the place of service. To come to a place where, Lord, we are going to save you with our spirit Amen. not with ourselves we refuse and reject self-exhortation yes. we refuse and renounce to walk in malice and envy Amen. we refuse to sabotage the prophetic ministry in this, of, uh, upon the man of God Amen. because of our attitude Romans, uh, Mark chapter 7 and verse number 30 let me read for you making the word of God of no effect through tradition which you have handed down and men as such you do now Jesus is speaking to the people preaching that because of tradition of men because you have failed to walk in the spirit you have made the word of God not to be effective do you know why the word of God is not effective in Zambia and in some of believers life it's because of tradition because men and women, they are serving God with their mind, not with their spirit. Because a lot of us, we come to church so that we can be seen because I'm putting on a good suit. So that I can be seen because I sing better than that one. No, we have to come to save him in the spirit. God is looking for men and women with a broken spirit, a contract heart. Amen. 
Jesus, he rebuked them. Because of traditions, you have failed. I mean, you have made the word of God not to be effective. Traditions, traditions, traditions shock the move of the spirit. When we become tradition, we shock the move of the spirit. And tradition leads to familiarity. Here we become familiar with God. I refuse to be familiar with God. That is why when you read the book of Revelation, you find that when, when, when the, whenever the angels are worshipping him, 24-7, they sing the same song, Holy, Holy, where is the Lamb that was slain before the foundation of the earth? Ready to receive glory, honor, beauty. And again, they bow, they seem. It's like it's changing into different dimensions. They seem in a different way. Why? They are not familiar. Why? Because they are in the spirit. They can see him in different dimensions. But see, beloved, when you walk in the flesh, you serve him with the mind, with your tradition. You become familiar. You become familiar with God. You are in his presence. Nafon. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, you are great. You God, your father, you are great. God have mercy. God have mercy. Amen. Say, God have mercy. Amen. We become, you know, familiar with God. So that we even eat the tithe that belongs to Him. He said in the book of, is it Malachi, that bring the tithe into the house. The tithe belongs to me. You are under a curse because you have eaten my tithe. But this generation can eat the tithe that belongs to the house of God. Why? Familiarity with the things of God. That is why to the children of God, he, he, he showed them the act and to Moses the ways. And if I can take you back to that generation, you find that the people that were delivered from Egypt under the leadership of Moses, if you read, most of them, they died in the wilderness. Why? Because that generation became Adamite. They became familiar with God. They were complaining almost of the time. They were attacking the prophet Moses, the prophet of God Moses. They were attacking left and right. They became familiar with God. I pray that may God deliver you and me from the spirit of familiarity. Amen. Be delivered from the spirit of familiarity. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Familiarity today has sabotaged the church. Some familiarity today has killed the prophetic, the apostolic, the pastoral, the teaching ministry. Familiarity with the things of God. Touch not my anointed and do no harm to my prophet. No, shima pepo, mum tufie, na ine win. We are not at the same level. No, not at all. Some of us, we have eaten our Nshima. We have watched our Telemundo, our, our football. But some of us, we were with him traveling. Oh, Shakataya, Reso Toko. Father, touch that woman. Touch that mother. Be the traveling. So how can we be at the same level? We can't. We cannot be at the same level. It is he that anoints the prophets. It is he that anoints the apostolic. He blesses the anointing. That is why when Moses and Miriam became familiar to Moses, and because Moses had picked an Egyptian, uh, is it an Ethiopian? Who's an Egyptian? Eh? Who? An Ethiopian woman, a black woman. Then they spoke against Moses. And because Miriam, they were, he was a sister, eh? Yes. They were sisters. Oh, yes. They became familiar. And they gossip against the man of God. Oh, yes. And the Bible said that Moses called them. Is it not? I mean, God commanded Moses to bring, I feel the anointing, to bring them to the tabernacle, the house of God. And when they came there, the cloud descended. And God challenged them. Is it not Moses that I speak face to face like a man speaking to his friend? dimensions of the anointings. Amen. And the Bible declares, remember I'm just talking to you. 
the bible declares that immediately when the cloud lifted Miriam became leprous she became white but Aaron now judgment came instantly and the bible said that Moses prayed for uh, Moses prayed for Miriam and she was healed now remember Miriam she was the prophetess if you read the bible you find that Miriam when they crossed the red sea she prophesied you read the psalms about Miriam she prophesied how God delivered them and how God you know has fulfilled his prophetic promises yes. she was the prophetess but there's always someone who is senior than you <laughs> no matter how you are anointed there's always a set man there's always a man that God set apart amen amen you go on, on, on YouTube you find that people that people now they are talking about TB Joshua this and you you are shocked to say these things were happening behind closed doors the man they rejected now they are saying I met him this the anointings and the Bible declares that Moses uh, 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 Aaron he refused to repent and God gave Aaron a season of repentance now because Aaron was a priest so since Aaron was a priest uh, he was anointed as a priest there was a mantle of priesthood upon his life resting upon his life oh, yes. so because of the, the mantle which is the anointing upon him God could not judge him amen some of us we have been preserved because of the covering upon the man of God advance god could not judge aaron why because aaron was still operating in the priesthood anointing that moses aaron uh, uh, moses has has put on him yes. and the bible said that after a, a season moses was commanded to bring aaron to the mountain and when he came to the mountain the bible said that he, he was he, he commanded him that strip him of the mantle and the moment the mantles took off him, God killed him. Moses remained. Don't touch your Moses. Amen. Support your Moses. Oh, yes. Support your Moses. Amen. He is your deliverer. Oh, yes. He knows the ways of God. Amen. He is operating in the ways of God. Amen. Support your Moses. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. I'm saying support your Moses. Amen. So you must operate in the ways of the spirit. Walk in the spirit. Galatians. 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 Shakaraba seketes. Thank you Jesus. Galatians 5 verse 20. I want to show you something today. I want just to speak to you. Because God is taking Zoe ministry to a certain dimension that you've never been before. Amen. A dimension of glory and power and prosperity and revival and yeah. God has placed this ministry as a, a, a as a beacon in this city to bring revival amen so God sent me to come and align you spiritually to lift you to encourage your spirit God, let me read Galatians chapter number number five I'll read uh, and verse number number 20 uh, I said number 25 let me read I commence reading and those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and deities. If you live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Say, if I live, if I live in the spirit, in the spirit, may you help me. May you help me to walk in the spirit. To walk in the spirit. This is what the Bible says. If you live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Amen. So we are commanded to live in the spirit. Hey, and man. living in the spirit, it is not that easy. Advanced. If I tell you that it's easy, then I'm lying to you. It is not that easy. Sometimes it takes me the whole week to get back to the track when I miss him. Are you with me? Amen. Living in the spirit is not easy. When you see your man of God stand here, he's seeing things, he's living in the spirit. That you cannot see. Even for a witch to operate in the spirit, it takes them a long time to enter into that dimension. 
So by the Bible is saying that if we live in the spirit, it's not speaking to the prophet, to the apostle, or the fivefold ministry. No, it's speaking to the church that if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Why? Because in verse 22 up there, it talks about the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control. And when we read about the fruit, the, it said that it's, not a, it's not saying that the fruit, but the fruit of the spirit. The fruit, read your Bible. Not the fruit, the fruit. So this fruit is one fruit. And in that one fruit, there are many facets, dimensions, operations. Amen. So we must live in the spirit. Where there is long suffering, there are times things become so hard. You are saving change, things become so hard. But because of longevity, because of, of, of long suffering, endurance, you stay with the man of God. The children of Israel could not stand that time. They failed to stand to, st to stand the test when Moses went to seek the Lord. The Bible declared that they remained worshipping idols. They couldn't stand. Why? Because they knew the act of God. They were not walking in the spirit. So if you know the act of God, you are after the miracles, you find that the time that the cloud stops moving, the, 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 the fire stops moving, you think, sir, God is not moving. God is not moving. Maybe when you used to pray, you would feel something like a goosebump. I can feel him. Ah, that's anointing. Oh, praise God. Ah, I can feel Jesus. But you pray nothing. No goosebumps here. You pray nothing. It's like you are hitting the wall. Now, if you know the ways of God, you stay there. Though you slay me, yet I will worship him. Like the, the, the three Hebrews, that if you want, throw us in the furnace of fire, but we know that our God will deliver us. I know my Redeemer lives. Come sun, come rain, I shall not be moved. I will stand with the man of God. Like a Joshua, they stood with the man of God. Others that knew the act of God, they couldn't move. Where are you today? Your Christianity, I'm talking about you and me. Your personal walk with Jesus, how is it? Can you still stand even if God has not healed you? Can you still worship him and love Jesus? Even if you are single, can you still stand, child of God? That's the question. Can you still stand and serve him faithfully? Whether you are offended, whether you are hurt, you are injured, can you still stand and say that I will save my God through this man of God? Only those that walk in the spirit can do that. I pray for you that may the Holy Ghost come upon your life today. Amen. May there be a newness of the spirit today. Amen. In your life, in your personal walk with God. Amen. Living in the spirit is not an easy thing. There are times you feel so weak. You feel so low. You feel so discouraged. You say, that, Lord, why didn't you call someone? Why did you call me? And there are times that you are alone and you are battling in prayer. You say, that, Jesus, where have I missed you? Take not thy spirit from me, Lord. And your wife comes in your room and you say, that, no, I don't need food. I need Jesus. I need him because I've, it seems like I've missed him. God is looking for men and women that will live in the spirit, that will walk in the spirit, in the newness of the Holy Ghost. Where is the Holy Ghost that raised Jesus from the dead? Where have you placed him? Where have you left him? He's calling you again. I'm saying he's calling. It exhorts. Are you with me? It encourages your spirit. 
Amen. It's a prophetic. It always exhorts you. It always announces you into another realm of the. It brings a new season in your life. When a man of God speaks, when 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 Prophet Amos releases the word of God upon your life, it's like he ushers you into a new season. A new season. Say a new season. Say I need a new season. Say I need a new season. I need a new so season. The, the prophetic always announces you into a new season. Oh yes. A new season. Amen. New direction. Amen. It gives you a new word and an instruction Amen. and it encourages you. Oh yes. And that was Obadiah now, preserving the prophetic move. Now the fifty that symbolizes the prophetic that symbolizes the move of the spirit, because the prophetic always brings a new move of the spirit. Oh yes. Now God is looking for Obadiah. Men of worship, women that carry the presence of God to sustain the prophetic. Have you, have you heard what I've said? Oh yes. Obediah simply means a worshiper. God is looking for Obediahs that can walk in the spirit, that can serve him with the newness of the spirit to preserve the prophetic move of God. Beloved, the prophetic move of God need to be, need to be preserved in Zambia. People that can preserve is you. Amen. You, 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 you. Amen. If you walk by the newness of the spirit, oh. you have a revelation that this is my Moses. Oh, yes. Then, then, you are going to see a new move. Amen. You are going to experience a new season. Amen. Why? Because it is preserved. But we have a generation where men and women, they are, they are too carnal. They want to fight with men of God. No guy, but pastor, he said this, he said that. He gave you the audacity to talk about the anointed of God. If Moses will lay hands on you. You speak against him. I'm looking after my father. He knows we are neighbors. My father is, is, is this year, October, he will be 80 years now. When the man grows old, my father now is old, mom has left us, she has gone into glory. I've seen now dad is going back like I used to be a small boy. So sometimes you say things that I won't be happy, but it's my dad, no matter what. I won't answer back, I'll respect him. Why? Because Evan Fiele is my father. What power and the authority do I have to talk against my father? To raise a finger against him? No. I just say, I know. I will avoid him. Then he, he knows he's my father. He knows that my son is not happy. Then he will call me. Then he will talk and laugh. I cannot touch that man. Don't touch your Moses. Amen. Be like the Obediah. Preserve the prophetic move that has started in Zoe. Preserve. Be a worshiper. Oh, yes. Be a woman of worship. Be yes. a man of worship. When you worship him, the presence comes down. And in his presence, you see who that man is. What he, what he carries. I was reading, I, I've been studying the life of, of, uh, of, of, of Moses. And I came to see that when God gave me a vision about Moses, that Moses was a great man of God. Moses, he was a great man of God. We read about him, but you need the revelation to know and to see. And sometimes you need the chariots of fire to take you to the location and to see in the realm of the spirit, in the vision of the spirit, what really happens. Then you see that Moses indeed was a man of God. And it costed him not to enter. And the children of Israel costed him not to see the promised land. Because many of the people that he delivered, most of them, that perish in the wilderness. And that is the reason why God had to allow them to walk for 40 years so that that generation can phase out. And God spoke to me that they are, this generation in Zambia it has to phase out for the young generation to bring in the revival. And I pray that I pray them to that, oh Lord God of heaven, have mercy on us. Lord, we render not our garment but our heart. Touch us again. That's the reason I'm here. I'm here to come to 
deliver to you the word that Elohim, God Almighty, is oh, calling yeah. you back to Himself to Amen. a place of worship, a place of love, a place where you got to know Him, a with a personal relationship where you know Him personally, intimately, not someone dragging you. And that generation perished. Generation, but, but of that generation died. I said, Lord, why? Tradition of men, familiarity. So he couldn't allow them to cross. Because he knew that once they cross, they enter the promised land. They will enter the new move of God. They will enter the purposes and the, and, and, and the promises of God and the thing that God wanted to do. Always complaining. He, every time murmuring. Attacking the man of God. Pointing finger. No Moses. Moses take us back. Why bring us here? Is that not what we are doing in this generation? From church to church. From papa to papa. The act of God. May God deliver you and me. Shout amen. amen. May God help us. And the old that generation died 40 years in the wilderness. And then the new Joshua rise. The new Caleb. They were the one that fought with the giants. Because the, the promise, the old promised land was fortified with the, with, with wars. I mean we, we, it was occupied with the giant. It was we, with the we, we, with the sons of Anakim. And Oak, the king of Bashan. Those were the chant that surrounded. So God needed the young generation to know how to fight. Not by might nor by power, but by the spirit. By the newness of the spirit. How to fight. How many battles have you fought? How many deliverances have you attended? How many breathing in and out have you done? The demons are not leaving you. It is time to know the ways of God. To walk in the ways of God. When you walk in the word of God, you know how to how to bring down the enemy. When you see him, you begin to declare that no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. When you feel the pain, you blow your hand here, you rebuke the pain. If the pain hasn't gone, you said, I walk by faith and not by sight. I'll save him. I'll love him the more. I'll fast the more. I'll pray the more. I'll press forward. I'll push forward. I don't walk by faith, by sight, but I walk by faith. Not by the feeling. Not by what the neighbor is saying. Not by what the things around me are detecting my future. But I walk by faith. That is the generation that God is raising. That is the people that God is calling. The Caleb, the Joshua, men of the spirit. Women of the spirit. How those men that and women that know how to fight the enemy. And when Moses was on the mountain and the children of Israel were in the valley, busy fighting with the with, with the with the enemies of, of, of God. The Bible said that then the, the, the priests they stood between Moses, beside Moses, and they lifted his hand because it was told that as long as your hands are lifted, this battle is won. But once your hands fall down, then there is no victory. Beloved, what does that talk about? It talks about operating in the spirit. It is not by might nor by power, but by the spirit. We win battles by the spirit, by revelation, by knowing who you are. That is why when you are born again, the first thing that Jesus does, introduce you to yourself. You know who you are. When you know who you are, you stay your ground. When you know you are, you tell the devil that enough is enough. I'm a child of the covenant. By the blood of just I overcome you. By the promise of the, of the word of God, I'm declared that I'm moving forward, forging forward, fighting forward. You don't back down. Why? Because you are operating by the revelation of the newness of the spirit of God. Not by carnality, not by experience, not familiarity, but by the operation and the lead of the Holy Ghost. Some, you know, there are certain battles God will just lead you. You wake up, give all your suits. You give all your suits, you find that the breakthrough comes. Empty your money, you empty your money, give. You find that your breakthrough comes. Why? You are, you are operating by the revelation of the Holy Spirit. That's why the other day, Jesus, he took mud and he placed it here. He said that you are going to wash. Then you see. At 
again on a different occasion he will rebuke the spirit he will lay hands he will touch their eyes led by the holy ghost are you led by the spirit of god or you are led by the flesh or you are led by the feeling or you are led by circumstances or you are led by things around your life i prophesy from today may you be led by the holy ghost in your life in your prayer life may you be led by the spirit of god in the serving of the man of god may you be led by the holy ghost Men are led by the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God. So God is raising the Joshua's in this generation. Listen, it's not about the age, it's about the heart. It's about the heart. Let me show you something. It's about, say it's about my heart. Oh Rabba Sanda, Shikabayata, Rekuzeli Kataya. My God, my God, God is saying that there's someone here with the with the land issues. God is coming through for you. Amen. God has come through for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, there's Amen. someone also here. You have death. God is coming through for you. Amen. Oh, Rabbi Shakataya. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Hey, Jesus, I feel the anointing. Mm. The Lord sent me today to come and align you spiritually spiritually listen to this <laughs> you, you you must understand the importance know the importance of being led by the holy ghost uh let me read for you this one uh that is joshua 14 let me read for you as yet let me read let me study and now behold the lord has kept me alive as he said those 40 years, that is uh, Joshua chapter 14, verse 10, that 40 years, if, ever since the Lord spoke to, ever since the Lord spoke this word to Moses, while Israel wandered in the wilderness, and now here I am, this day, 85 years old. I don't know if we have anyone 85 years. 85 years old. Yet, I am as strong this day as my strength was. Sorry. Yet I am strong this day on the day that Moses sent me. Just as my strength was then. So now is my strength for war. Both for going out and for coming. Both for going out and for coming. They that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. He said that they shall run and not be well, they will not get tired. They shall walk and not be weary. And said that they shall renew their strength like an eagle. Joshua was 80 years, but the man operated by the spirit. And though he was at 80 years, the Bible said that he was strong as if he was when Moses anointed him. The strength of the youth, when you read down there, you find that he said that give me this mountain. What is the mountain that is before you? May God anoint you. May God anoint you. May God anoint him come upon your life to bring down that mountain in your life. Amen. May God anoint you to bring that down, that mountain down in the name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, it's not time to give up. We have yes. the Holy Ghost. It's time to be strong. Amen. Joshua said that I am strong. Why? Because of the anointing. Because of knowing the ways of God. Oh, yes. It's not about the age. It's about the revelation. Say the revelation. The Some of you are, you are receiving the revelation right now. Receive the revelation right now. I receive. Receive the revelation right now. I receive. Receive the revelation right now. I receive. To win that battle. Amen. I don't know the, the battle you are facing. Oh, yes. I, don't know, I don't know the mountain that is before you. Oh, yes. I don't know the challenge that is before you. Oh, yes. Maybe that mountain has worn you down. Amen. Maybe because of that mountain, maybe because of the battles you have fought, you Amen. seem like you, you are losing strength. Oh, you yes. are losing focus. You can't yes. push anymore. But I came with the new anointing. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus, with yes. the fresh oil Amen. to fight new battles. Uh, receive fresh action of I the Holy Ghost. Uh, receive fresh oil of the Holy Ghost. Uh, receive right now. In the name of Jesus, uh, receive, receive, receive. I Jesus receive. Name. I pray.
prophesy that where you were denied today, you will, the next tomorrow you shall have access. Amen. Where you are, where you failed, I declare oh, that yes. tomorrow you are going to see victory. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive that anointing, child of God. Receive that anointing, child of God. I receive. The newness of the Holy Ghost. I receive. We are for peace, but we are for war. Oh, yes. We are being led by the Holy Ghost. Yes. We are coming the chariots of fire to bring down the witchcraft of Ayab. In our families, we are coming back with a new anointing oh, to yes. bring down that witchcraft. Amen. To bring down that, that financial Amen. challenge. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. we are coming Amen. down as men of war. We are receiving a new anointing. Yes. Receive it now. I receive. Wherever you are, receive the anointing. I receive. Receive the anointing. I receive. Receive the anointing. I receive. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen, child of God. I just came to align you. The Lord didn't come to condemn you, oh, yes. but He came to remind you who you are, Advance. where you are coming from, Amen. and where you have been at, where, where you have been trapped. At. And you cannot stay at that mountain for so long. You cannot be trapped in that pit for so long. You have to come out. Amen. You have to force your way out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If it means to grow, oh, yes. you have to grow. Amen. If it means to run, yes. you have to run. Amen. My child of God, yes. you must find your way out. You must find your way out. Amen. For Jesus has prevailed. Oh, for yes. Jesus has delivered you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I must find my way out. I must find my way out. Say, I must find my way out. 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 Listen, child of God, I sense the anointing. Oh, yes. The Bible declared that when Jesus visited the city yes. and he was preaching, oh, and yes. as he was preaching, the house was full. Oh, yes. And there were people that brought in a lamb. Guy, oh, yes. and they found that the house was full. Yes, they couldn't find the way in. Oh, yes, and the Bible said that they had to go on top of the roof. Oh, yes, they removed the roof, amen. And then they dropped the man there. Oh, yes, child of God, you better find your way out for your miracle. Amen. You better find your way out to, to grab that miracle. Amen. You must cut all your miracle. Oh, yes, because today is your day. Amen. Now, today is my day. Oh, yes, today is my day. Say, today is my day. Today is Say today is my day. Today, my day. Say today is my day. Today is my day. In the day. mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I'm finding my way out. I am finding my way out. Out of sin. Say out of sin. Out of sin. Out of iniquity. Out of iniquity. Out of adultery. Out of adultery. Out of lust. Out of lust. Out of lies. Out of lies. Out of hate. Out of death. Out of envy. Out of envy. Out of sin. Out of sin. Out of poverty. Out of poverty. Out of singleness. Out of singleness. Out of trouble. Out of trouble. Out of problem. Out of problem. I must find my way out. I must find my way find out. Find your way out. Yes. Come on, find your way out. Yes. Find your way out. Find yes. your way out. Find your way out. Find oh, yes. your way out. Find your way out. Yeah, there is man. a way for you. There is a way for you. Yes. You are coming out. Yeah, you man. are coming out of fear. Yeah, you are man. coming out of witchcraft. Yeah, you man. are coming out of depression. Yeah, you man. are coming out of suppression. Yeah, you man. are coming out of fear. Yeah, you man. are coming out of, out of witchcraft attacks. Yeah, you man. are coming out. Yeah, Amen. Shut up. Ah, I am coming out. I'm coming out. Out of witchcraft. Out of witchcraft. Family bondage. Out of bondage. Satanic bondage. Satanic bondage. Witchcraft bondage. Witchcraft bondage. Failure in life. Failure in marriage. Failure in marriage. Failure in relationship. Failure in relationship. Failure. 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 I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm finding my way out. I'm finding my way out. I'm finding my way out. I'm pressing forward. I'm pressing forward. My God. Oh, yes. Enough is enough. Oh, yes. Oh, Shakabaya Tasari Bosoto. 
mangre que tu sahaya e shakuta bahata reko surprise que tosa something is getting loose in the realm of the spirit oh, yes. i see graves are being opened Amen. some people are coming out of the grave oh, yes. some people are walking out of the grave Amen. i don't know what has bound you oh, yes. i don't know who sold you oh, yes. i don't know who buried your life oh, yes. your star yes. your destiny yes. but i see you are coming out Amen. i see you are walking out Amen. i see you are walking out Amen. god is making a way for you Amen. god is making a way for you Amen. making a way for you. Amen. The mighty man in battle. Oh yes. Say my way out. My way out. My way out. My way out. In my marriage. In my marriage. In my life. In my life. In my finances. In my finances. In my career. In my career. In my business. In my business. My way out. My way out. In my ministry. In my ministry. My way out. 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 name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus oh Lord Jesus oh Lord Jesus my way out 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 your way out my way out can take your seat Christianity is a revelation yes it's not playing games with the enemy The enemy that you are dealing with he doesn't love you at all. Oh, yes. Doesn't play games. Yes. You have five room you give him one room you occupy three rooms at once. That the enemy you are, you, you are dealing with. But you must find your way out. Amen. Knowing your Moses. Yes. Refuse to be familiar to your Moses. Amen. Serving your Moses. Oh yes. Fulfilling God's purpose under your Moses. Amen. Who is your Moses? Prophet Amos. Amen. And this your wife. Oh They yes. Are your Moses. Amen. That God has set for you. Amen. They are your Moses. Amen. That is why when God wanted to deliver Paul after Paul had an encounter with him, he could not see for days. God did not send just an ordinary person or any other person he had to send his servant to go and deliver him why because God for him to come to you he must use his servants Amen. as an instrument oh yes he uses his servants as instrument so if you fight your Moses then you are killing the prophets i don't know why i'm speaking like no i'm speaking if you've seen the message has not done to but i believe god is speaking Amen. Leaders, let's stand with our Moses. Let's stand with our mama and our papa here. Let's support him. Let's support them. By so doing that, we are going to be blessed also. Amen. Should just come home up chairs. No, we have to say. That's how you find your way out. for me makarada sikabaya sembro kotosh can you read for me uh Joshua 6 verse 16 marika brosotosh sagali gado rasukuvu zakatesh Joshua 6 verse 16 i really need to make it sink in your spirit have to because uh, I'm a busy man so sometimes when God gives me opportunity like this I have to make it sink in your spirit be planted embedded in your spirit read, read Joshua 6 Joshua 6 63 then we are going to pray then we are going to do ministry <clears throat> thank you Jesus sakula bakataya ragos read jo- Joshua <clears throat> What did I say? Okay, no, no, not Joshua. Let's go to uh, Deuteronomy, sorry. Uh uh, uh Deuteronomy, the last chapter. Uh I want to show you something. Uh Deuteronomy the last chapter. Something I want to show you very important. Uh 34 verse number 
Joshua, I mean Deuteronomy 34, verse 9, the Bible says, Now Joshua, the son of Nani, was full of the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hands on him. That's all. He was full of the spirit of wisdom. He was full with what? The spirit of wisdom. Yes. Because Moses has laid hand on him. Who has laid hand on him? Can you attack the hand that lay hands on you? Can you attack the hand that puts your hands on you? This generation. And I'm speaking. I know I'm on live. I'm speaking to every Zambian. Every Christian. Don't lay hands. I mean, don't talk against your Moses who lay hands on you. Oh, yes. Without the Moses, there wouldn't have been a Joshua. Amen. It's because Moses laid hands on him. Because Moses laid hands on him. A lot of us, we need to, to repent because we have laid hands on our Moses. That is why there is leprosy. That is why there is leprosy. How can you talk against Moses who lay hands on you? God have mercy upon this generation. Amen. Have mercy upon us. Amen. For touching our Moses. Yes, Lord. We come and we shout, Amen. Go deeper, but behind the scene, behind the bar, we are busy killing the Moses. I'm not just talking to, to, to the church. I mean, to here, the people here, but I'm speaking to everyone watching me live. Wherever you are, God is, has sent me to come and bring a spiritual alignment in your life. Never touch your Moses. Amen. Because he laid hand on a Joshua. For him to be who he was. Joshua became a great prophet. A great man. Joshua was fighting with the enemies of God. And he spoke to the son. The son to stand still. Why? The Moses laid hand on him. And we break every curse that you might have attracted by speaking against your Moses. I stand on the altar of the servant of God. And I declare that if at all you spoke every word and there's a curse, I break it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Be set free. Amen. If you spoke against your Moses, I don't know who your Moses is. Maybe you are a visitor. I break that curse. Amen. May God have mercy on you. Amen. But never sin again. Yes. Many people they have sabotaged their Moses in Zambia. They have killed their Moses, their deliverer. Is it not Moses that I speak to face to face like a man? Moses was a man of the spirit. Moses was a man of an encounters. Remember when I became saved? I don't share this, but let me just share. Remember when I became saved? The Lord took me to hell. I was in a chariot going to hell. Then I said, Lord, what is this? We were praying. Then within a second, I, I, and the chariot lifted. Then I saw myself. I was flying, and I saw I was in heaven. And I saw Elijah. And heaven is a nice place. I opened my eyes. I said, I've seen Elijah. The glory came in the house. My father, my mother, everyone were on the floor. I closed my eyes. I was again raptured. I saw Jesus. I stayed in heaven. I don't know for how many hours. Such an encounter. I'm not supposed to talk about this. This is a personal thing. But I just want to tell you that never touch your Moses. You don't know the encounters the prophet has, has seen. You don't know the visitation of the 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 the, the we, 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 with the uh, the elders he has he has had, had in the past. You don't know his work with Jehovah. You come home, you find me. I'm watching wrestling, and you think, oh, we are together with the man of God. You don't know how I work with Jesus. You don't know the battles I fought. The mountain I've climbed. The pain I've endured. You don't know the men and the women of God. The thing that they have, they have been through. For them to be what they are. Because you have to go through the process. 
and it is the pain, the rejection, the resentment, the hate that makes you to be a Moses. It's the thing that you have gone through, the battles you have fought. Men and women in, uh, and men and women of God in Zambia, they have gone through a lot to be who they are and to stand in the gap for you. But we have sabotaged and we have killed. Why? Knowing the act of God. They came to Moses. And when they came to Moses, they thought, because Moses, he married a, a black man. So even as a black woman, even us, we can talk about Moses. Not knowing the encounters, the shaking of the mountain, the shaking of the mountain, the shaking of the mountains when they went to that site then the God of the Bible the mighty man of war Elohim El Shaddai Yahweh the ancient of days the one who has made the clouds as the dust of his feet when he came to that mountain the children of Israel trembled and they said, Moses, please go, go and talk to him on our behalf. And the man of God, Moses, went into that crowd. I said, do not fear. And God was busy warning Moses to tell the children of Israel not to touch the mountain, not to come close to the mountain, or else I'll consume them with your leaders. But yet the man, Moses, he entered in that glory. Hey, my God, never touch the servant of God. Zambia, it is time to honor men and women of God that God has sent. Then we shall see revival. Then we shall see the power of God, the move of God, the prosperity, the deliverance. We have men and women of God that God has raised, but we have dishonored them. We have allowed the familiar spirit to become in between them and us. And I break that demon. I break it. I break it. I break the spirit of familiarity out in the name of Jesus. I came as a prophet of the Lord. I came as a deliverer to break the spirit of familiarity in the name of Jesus. Amen. Moses, a great servant of God. A great servant of God. Yes. He entered that glory. Woo! <laughs> and Moses experienced that glory. My God. My God. So God is bringing us to that glory. Amen. So God is bringing me to that glory. God is bringing me God to that is glory. Gathering, is, is gathering us to that glory. So God is bringing me to that glory. God is bringing that me mountain to that experience. Glory. That mountain experience. Because of my Moses. God of my Moses. I am Moses. coming to that mountain experience. I am coming to that mountain once again. Once again. Once again. Say once again. Once again. Oh Lord Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus. Anoint me again. Anoint me again. Anoint me again. To me climb again. that mountain. To climb that mountain, to climb that mountain of glory, of glory, of glory, of glory, of glory, of glory. That is why the Bible declared that. But now we have come to Zion and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels. There's the place that I like to the general assembly, the church of the firstborn who are registered in heaven, to the church of all. To the spirit of just men made perfect. The spirit of just men made perfect. May you be perfected today. Amen. By the blood of Jesus, may you be perfected today. Amen. By the blood of Jesus, may you be perfected today. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. be perfected today. Amen. Be perfected today. Amen. There is a spiritual alignment that is taking place. I receive. You are being perfected today Amen. into the newness of the spirit. Oh yes. To follow your Moses. Amen. To serve the Moses. Oh yes. The spirit of just men made perfect. You are justified today. Amen. You are justified today. Amen. Under the influence of my voice. Yes. By the Holy Ghost. Oh yes. You are justified. Amen. You are justified. Amen. No 
more familiarity. Oh, yes. No more familiarity. Amen. No more gossip. Amen. No more moving in the curse. Amen. No more walking in the curse. Amen. You are being justified, Amen. child of God. You are being justified, child Amen. of God. I command the spiritual alignment. Yes. Your dreams are aligned. Oh, amen. Your finances are aligned. Amen. Your spiritual life is aligned. Amen. Your marriage. Yes. Your family. Yes. Your children. Alignment. Yes. Amen. Alignment. Amen. I speak alignment. Amen. I speak alignment. Amen. By the prophetic mantle, I speak alignment. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every chain is breaking. Yes. Every chain is breaking. Every chain is breaking. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every addiction is breaking. Amen. Addiction is leaving you. Yes. Demons are leaving you. Amen. Demons are leaving you. Amen. By the blood of Jesus. I deploy the blood. Yes. I deploy the blood. Amen. Be delivered. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You are receiving a new anointing. I'm telling you. I receive. Your life will never be the same. Amen. You are receiving a new oil today. I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You are being transformed. Amen. You are being transformed. Amen. The Holy Spirit. Yes. Is resting on you. Amen. Is sitting on you once again. Amen. There is alignment that is taking place. Yes. No witchcraft. Oh yes. No witchcraft. Yes. No eating in your dreams. Amen. No eating in your dream. Amen. No sleeping with demons in your dream. Amen. No witchcraft visitation. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I deploy the blood. Amen. I deploy the blood. Amen. The blood of Jesus. Yes. The blood of Jesus. Amen. The blood of Jesus. Amen. Be delivered, child of God. Be delivered, child of God. Amen. Be child of God. Amen. Be delivered, deliver. Amen. A new anointing is coming upon your life. I receive. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I receive the new oil. 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 The new oil of the Holy Ghost. The new oil of the Holy Ghost. I receive now. I receive now I receive the now. prophetic unction. Spirit unction. The prophetic unction. The prophet unction. That rest upon this servant. Rest upon this servant. That rest upon his servant. That rest upon his servant. Prophet Hemes. Prophet Hemes. I receive that unction. I receive that the anointing unction. to prosper. I'm going to prosper. The anointing to prosper. The anointing to prosper. The anointing to Prosper. The anointing to prosper. Receive it, child of God. I receive. Receive it, child of God. I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I declare from today. Yes. That you will receive that anger to save God. Amen. Anger to worship Him. Amen. Anger to read the Bible. Amen. Anger to fast. Amen. That servant with anointing. Amen. May it lands upon your head today. I receive. Let it land upon your head today. I receive. If you are a visitor, I declare that may it follow you to your jail. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The demon spirit that has fought many Christians in Zambia, in oh, Indola. Yes. I command that spirit to lose you. Amen. You shall not go to shipwreck. Amen. No shipwreck. Amen. No giving up. Amen. No giving up. Amen. In the name of Jesus. My God. They will come next year. They will find you. Amen. They will come 2026. They will find you. Amen. In Jesus. Amen. You shall not die but live. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Saving God. Of the spirit. If you live in the spirit, then walk in the spirit. Amen. That is what God is saying today. Spiritual alignment. God is aligning. I receive. Is alignment. I receive. Desire to know His ways. Not, it, not His heart. Amen. When you know His ways. Jesus will appear as he wishes in your room and you will sit like this and you will talk to him like a man. I'm not talking about something that we have not seen. But something, thing that people are 
the experience and they have testified. Get to know him personally. Have a personal relationship with Jesus. Walk in the newness of the spirit. Honor the man of God. That is honor. Honor is to save. With your time. Some of us, we honor our job more than our men of God. We honor we honor Zesco more than church. We come later at church. <laughs> we are not there, but at work, we are there. Have you heard what I'm saying? Amen. I'm sending my prophet Elijah so that I may not strike the earth with the curse. So God is sending the, the spirit of Elijah, bringing the son back to their fathers. The fathers back to their son. So there is a spiritual alignment. That is why there is a coming. There is a climbing to Mount Zion. We are getting there. Why? Because Jesus is about to come. So there is a gathering of the saints in the newness of the spirit. The spirit of the just man made perfect. Oh, yes. Seek perfection in his presence. Your, 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 your stand before God must be the same with, before your man of God. I'm concluding the servant is in. I believe the man of God is in it. I'll be concluding. Alignment. Say alignment. Alignment. Spiritual alignment. Spiritual alignment. When a carpenter or a plumber is building, if the wall is bent, he has to break it until it is straight. So when God sees your life, it's not God is going like this. He sends his prophets to bring a rebuke. Amen. God has sent me today. Yes. To give you a holy rebuke. Amen. And you have been blessed, I believe. Amen. Have you been blessed? Yes. He has sent me to bring alignment. Amen. Honoring the man of God. Walking in the principles of the word of God. Your tithe, your offering, your commitment, your time, your service, your time, your service to the house of God. When we die, we leave everything back. And our works will follow us. God is looking at your works. Here. Your ambitious God is here. When I go to glory, he showed me because I'm a prophet. He will judge me in the line of Elijah, in the line of Elisha, Jeremiah. So I have to work hard and check myself. It's no jokes. Seeing the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings, the Bible said, whom the earth and the sun fled. The people could not stand him. They sought for death, but they did not die. How holy that God is. That you see him one day. He's so holy. He's so pure. He walks majestic. And when he stands to judge, he will judge you and me according to our service. How we honored our Moses. How we honored our, our Elijah. Zambia, it's time to celebrate your own. Amen. God has given you the prophet. It's time to save your own. Amen.
experienced such. So when he told me that, I said that that he, he said that oh man of God, he, he, he doesn't call praise. He just said, Pastor, you know I have this problem. I said that because I am the carrier of the prince of God and I'm a servant of God, that problem goes. It went. You come home sometimes. Dad, he talk to me. A man of God. I've seen even prophet to a mom. Honors the prophet. We shouldn't be like the Miriams. We shouldn't be like the. That is why you young people that are around the prophet, you must understand how the prophet moves. Because sometimes you just wake up and you take you that God has said, let's go this way. I saved the man of God, may Jam Salim, may he so rest in peace. The man of God who just said that today, Sunday, we are going to pray and we'll pray for two days on our knees without going home. Get to know how to save your servant. This, your prophet, he has climbed mountain. I remember one time he came to, 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 uh, uh, to, uh, is it, uh, not Dora, but to up here, there is a bush where we went to come and we were together. We fasted so that my saliva has disappeared and it's like I had sores. We couldn't move. We have, we, the car to pick us. We have climbed mountains. We have seen the fire. God has anointed us. I speak to you as an apostle. Amen. As sons in the faith. Oh yes. On behalf of your father. Yes. That has conceived you. And I'm speaking like Apostle Paul spoke to the church of Corinth. And I'm rebuking, I'm speaking and encouraging at the same time. As an apostle. Tighten your belt. It's time to save God. And to honor men of God. There's nothing in this world anymore. See how people are dying. You go on Facebook, this one has died. You, you, I sometimes say, maybe I'm next. <laughs> Daddy. But the question is, when I die, did I save him? I won't say that, no, God, I used to pray on TV. No! God said that, did you save your Moses? Your Elijah? Did you save your apostle? Honor! Not where you, you are in the place, you find someone who's talking about Prophet Max. Ah, that man, ah, that man, mm -hmm. he started playing a long time, a long time, but he's still at the same place. Where are you there when he anointed you? Where are they there when he called you? When you were called, when you, you had an encounter with Jesus, was not, you're never there. Let me talk about myself, but you, some of you have seen Jesus in your dreams. That is an encounter I'm talking about. You were alone. You were alone. Today we have sons that come to church. They want to, to challenge men. We are not in a competition. We are here to compliment you, to, to lift you, to, to, to direct you to where. Because, beloved, listen, saving Jesus is not an easy thing. A man of God is one of is when you look at the life of a man of God, a man of God is 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 a loner. So you young pastors that serving, don't announce yourself before the prophet announces you. Keep serving. Ah, I'm Jack Chan. I'll prophesy Jack Chan. Wait, save him. You are not yet Jack Chan. Wait. Say wait. Don't announce yourself before the man of God announces you. Timothy, my son, I'm all pleased with. Jesus, my son, I'm all pleased with. The man of God must be, I say this way that the servant, I'm all pleased with. Come on, I want you to lift your hands wherever you are. Let's worship. Begin to surrender to Jesus before the man of God steps in. It's not it's yet so in look here. I'm just saying, saying, begin to worship him. Yes. Repent. Turn away from all your wrongdoings. I want I want the song, please. You can just lead us. Jesus. Come on, come on. Oh, yes. If you want to be on your knees, be on your knees. If you want to lay on your floor, lay on the floor. Let's so repent, God. Let's repent before God. Oh, to Jesus. Come on, come on, child of God. I we must honor our Moses.
Let's give a big hand to Jesus. Let's give a big hand for the prophet of God, Prophet Max, for that powerful message. Let's give a big shout to Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Take your seats. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much, man of God, for that powerful word. I heard it. And I believe that it is God's word. And if it is God's word, we just have to do it. Let's give a big hand again for that powerful word. Amen. So, thank you so much. And may God bless you for that word. What a powerful word. And uh, I know you were trying to come out in the, a very good way. But that word was a rebuke. <laughs> thank you so much for rebuking us. We have heard the word of the Lord. Give a big hand for the great man of God. Yes. So, the man of God has preached. And now, I'm sure you are blessed. Are you blessed? Amen. Yes, he has preached a very powerful prophetic word. I'll call it a prophetic word. And let me tell you something. Those that have ears, let them hear what the Spirit is saying. Because it is the Holy Ghost that is speaking through the great man of God. Jesus. Open your Bibles. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You
worship you are Lord. You are worthy. time I heard this song but you see there are certain songs it is not my song it is the song the Holy Spirit wanted me to sing Amen I can't remember I don't know I, I, can't, I think I last heard this song in 2015 2014 but you see it is the Holy Spirit that props us up oh yes <laughs> Advance. It is the Holy Ghost oh, yes. that props us up. Amen. So listen, whatever oh, yes. the great prophet has said, please, that's God speaking. Amen. Yeah. Whatever he has said, don't take it lightly. Don't take it casually. Take it with seriousness. Take it with seriousness. I have been spending deep moments with God. And there is a lot that God is showing me. I was showing him of one vision I had. Tell me, tell me say the vision I told you I had today. I've been spending a lot of time with God. Uh huh. In the morning, you, you explained to me the vision that you saw in the night over the city of Undola. Yes. You saw. A very giant snake, very giant, which you asked yourself when you saw it, should I kill it? And then to you were revealed the consequences of killing the snake. Yes. That the whole city will rise. I up said, should I kill the snake? If I kill it, the whole of Undola will rise against me. And I woke up. And I saw some officers. You remember, right? Yeah, don't mention them. So I saw that serpent. Big! And I wanted to kill it. I said, oh, if I kill this snake, people will rise against me. Will you protect me? <laughs> Saying, just kill it. <laughs> um, at least if I had a church that pays for my legal fees. But when I have legal battles, I pay alone. <laughs> so, I saw a very big snake. And I said, should I kill this snake? I said, mm. the people of Undola will rise against me. I woke up. So, I'm trying to kill it. Amen. Give a big hand to Jesus. So, God has been uh, showing me a lot of things about the church, about the city, and about whatever that is happening. And right now, we are positioning ourselves for what God is saying. 
we are positioning ourselves for everything that God is saying. And um, it's good to hear what God is saying because everything that has happened in this ministry are things that God said in the past. God said you do this. God said you do that. So if everything that has happened is because of what God said, it simply means even what God is saying now, we have to position himself because these are things in a few time from now, we are going to leave them. Amen. Let's give a big hand to Jesus. Listen, I didn't come to preach a message. The message has been preached by the great man of God. And uh, I feel I feel you have a lot to go and reflect on and to go and pray about to go and understand. I didn't come here to start another sermon and take you into whatever whatever that we have is for the other time. If you didn't get anything, go back on Facebook and get something. <laughs> if you didn't get anything, just go back on Facebook and uh, get what the man of God said. And uh, I think it's going to be available. But incline your ears to what the Spirit is saying. You see, God will never come to you through a war. Just cool down a bit. God will never come to you through a war and tell you, Thy says the Lord. No. He has spoken. And according to him, today, he has spoken to every person in Zoe. Amen. Whether those that are here, even those that are not here, he has spoken to them. Amen. Give a big hand to Jesus. Yeah. I'm telling you. How many were yesterday online? You attended our online service? Stand up. Yeah. Okay. Ask your neighbor and say, where were you? Yes. God bless you. Yeah. I've been having online services. Yesterday, we had people from, I think, 15 countries. Dubai, India, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Morocco. Namibia, Morocco. So, you see, in this season, we are not doing church. We are doing what God says we should do. So, if you are church-minded, you might miss us. We are not but. doing church. We are doing God's assignment. Amen. You, see, you can attend church for many years and not do God's assignment. Is it true, sir? Yes. So, now we are not doing church. We are doing God's assignment. God said, go online. We have gone online. God said, go to South Africa. Yesterday, they had their first meeting and they were 40. So, we are not doing church. We are doing God's assignment. So, you need to be kingdom minded now. If you are church minded, it's your fault. You need to be now become kingdom minded. You need to understand what it is to be part of the kingdom. The kingdom of God. Yes. So, you need to become kingdom minded. If you become kingdom minded, you will notice that even this transition that the church is going to go through, you will not even feel anything. But you see, if you are church minded, you say, no, I feel a gap. There is no gap. The problem is just that the places where I'm found, you're not there. Did you hear me? Yes, yes no. This is just, I feel a gap. I, I feel like I'm an orphan. No. You're not an orphan. Amen. It's just that where I am, you're not there. So what should I do? The majority wins. Did you hear me? So the church is going through a transition. So you need to understand that the church is going to go through a lot of changes in the next one year, six months. So you need to be, understand that this transition is not the will of man. This transition is the will of God. This is what God wants. So, God is speaking to us. Do this. 
Some of you, you don't understand how I started the midnight prayer. But you can ask the people around me. They will tell you how it started. It started through a dream. So, everything I'm doing are things that God spoke to me to do. And God gave me reasons. And God gave me what is going to happen when I start them. So, if you want me, just come and be part and pass of those meetings. Yes, so a lot of things are happening and great things are taking place and people are testifying daily. If you attended the Zoom program, wow, even me, I was shocked. <laughs> yes, because God was speaking to people. God was giving the word. I was so blessed with that word that I gave yesterday. So it's up to you to now understand what is happening and how it's happening and be part and parcel of what is happening. So the church is going to go through a very big transition in the next one year, six months. We are now not church oriented. We are kingdom oriented. That means we are not found only in church. We are found everywhere. Yeah. You need to understand something. I studied the ministry when I was 14 years. I'm far from 14 years. And I'm not getting younger. I need to fulfill my assignment. My assignment is to bring back God's divine presence and power to the communities, cities, and the nations. Amen. That's my assignment. So let's make sure that we are each one of us there. There's a transition. You see a transition, you just adapt. It's like in politics, there are new governments that come. But you have to adjust to what is coming. If you want to be in the norm and you want to be in the former or whatever it is, you'll notice that you'll find a very hard time. Not that the people are bad, but simply because you just don't want to adjust. So life has phases. Even your life, if you look at it, you'll notice that what you do now, you are not doing it in this age. You're not doing it at that edge. Your life was going through transitions. So everything that grows must go through what? Transitions. Did you hear me? Oh, yes. Yes. And I remember last year, God spoke to him. A lot of people around me, God gave them visions, dreams that they came and told me, this is what I saw. And now it has started being born. So let us adjust to what God is saying, give a big hand to Jesus. So I want to pray for you. Can I pray for you? Yes. I want to pray for you today. Amen. My prayer oh, yes. is that may God increase in you. Amen. That is my prayer. My prayer is that may you advance. Amen. In your kingdom assignment. Oh yes. May you be able to do. Oh yes. And become yes everything. Oh yes. That God has purpose for you to become. Amen. I decree and I declare. Oh yes. Let the hand of God rest upon you. Amen. Let God visit you in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree and I declare. Oh yes. Today. Yes. Let God visit you. Amen. Let the visitation of the Lord rest upon you. Amen. I decree and I declare. Oh yes. Let God change everything about Amen. you. Amen. Let God open things about your life. Amen. I declare today. Yes. Let your life become a sign. Amen. And a wonder. Oh yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you today. Oh yes. This is my prayer for you. I receive. I decree and I declare. Oh yes. That let your life. Amen. Shine brighter and brighter. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree and I declare. Oh yes. That in this season. Yes. Nothing will pull you down. Amen. The grace of God shall rest upon you. Amen. The hand of God shall rest upon you. Amen. God shall watch over your going out Amen. and your coming in. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I prophesy. Oh yes. The grace of God. Yes. I prophesy.
prophesy. Oh yes. The hand of God. Oh yes. Let's prophesy. Oh yes. The anointing of God's spirit. Oh yes. To rest upon you. Amen. I declare. Oh yes. Tonight. Oh yes. You will not die before your time. Yeah. I decree and I declare. Oh yes. You will not die before your time. Yeah. Amen. I prophesy to you. Oh yeah. You will not die before your time. Yeah. Amen. I decree and I declare. Oh yes. Death shall not knock. Yeah. Amen. At your doorstep. Yeah. Amen. Declare, oh Lord. Oh Lord. I will not before my time. I'll not die before my time. Begin to pray right now. Metera sata gata gara baba bashante ikata bara sata gata sikata bara disko para disada nezo shakla so pari se para te te para to I decree I declare O Lord I will not die before my time I will not die before my time Lord I decree and declare Yes it in the mighty name Jesus nezo para te se te te para ta sara da gata Yes, Sata, Lemoto Sata Parade, Yasuja, Lano Separate, Irakata, La Cusale, Yes, Yes, Separate, Yapurekete, Parade, Shaka, I decree, I declare, if I scream in my life, is that I shall not die before my Tasha, Maso. I will not die before my time. I will not die before my time. I will leave to proclaim the goodness of the Lord. I will leave to proclaim the goodness of the Lord. I will not die before my time. Yes, Raise your hands. Yes. Say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I will fulfill. I will fulfill my assignment. My assignment. Begin to pray. La kuse makatara duse kala teke te. Ya tara duse makatara pape. I will fulfill my assignment, Oh Lord. Suka te gali. Assignment, Oh Lord. Rado shate ke le bakata. Yesu te te rade ke te ba. Lo shate ke ba rado shate le te. Ya tara da ba la ta ka te. Ya kure te. Yes, <laughs> I will fulfill my assignment, O Lord. I will fulfill my assignment, Lord. I will fulfill my assignment, Father. I will not die. I will not die. Jesus. Listen. Say this after me. Say, O Lord. O Lord. I provoke. I provoke. 
a move of the spirit a move, move of, of the, the spirit. spirit around my prayer life around, around my, my prayer, prayer life. life i provoke i, I provoke, provoke a move of the spirit a move, move of, of the, the spirit. spirit around around my Eyes of revelation. Eyes of, of revelation. I decree and I declare. I decree, I decree and I declare. I declare. Today, 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 let there be a move. Let there be a move of the spirit. Of the spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare today. I declare today. A move of God. A move of God. Begin to pray right now. Sata kapara deke shabalato yanda kara deku mela suze ekuala. I provoke the move of the spirit. I provoke the move of the spirit around me, Lord. The spirit around me, Lord. I provoke it right now. Lo zata kamana te, Yesu kete rebaka tala te, Yakute rebe kamana tala. Jesus, raise your hands. Hatunas kafradia. I receive. Just have every eye closed. Oh yes. Every eye closed. Just raise those hands right now. Jesus. Le pratona satavia. Oh yes. Father, tonight. Oh yes. We decree and we declare. Yes, Lord. Let everybody. Uh huh. Let everyone. Oh yes. Let everything. Oh yes. That concerns them. Yes, Lord. Tonight. Uh huh. Be baptized. Amen. Hiya. In the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let their prayer life. Yes, sir. Is taking on like right now. Bring them in right front. Right now. Right now. Bring them in front. Let them be a baptism. The baptism. Yes, a baptism like never. Yes, sir. Mitala souvenir. Yes, sir. Ye prakoto fina, sir. Yes, sir. Ye stolamati fina. Oh, yes. Keys don't know, sir. Yes, sir. Raise those hands right now. Let there be a baptism. Amen. A baptism like never. Yes, sir. Let there be a move of the spirit. Yes, sir. That is preparing people. Yes, sir. For the next phase. Yes, sir. You didn't hear me today. Oh, yes. 
just raise those hands let there be a baptism yes sir like never oh yes i declare today yes sir in the name of jesus yes sir every person oh yes that is in this place yes sir whether watching us oh yes via tv yes sir i decree and i declare right now tonight yes sir in the name of jesus oh yes right now right now it has begun yes sir it has begun yes sir it has begun yes sir let there be a baptism yes sir a move of the spirit a move a move of the spirit a move a move of the spirit yes sir i decree and i declare oh yes let it happen right now yes sir by the power of the holy ghost right now let a fire be born yes sir a fire to pray the fire a fire the fire to live your life yes sir that is what the calling of god oh yes let a fire be born the fire we declare today yes sir let a fire be born the fire 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 let it be born the fire let it be born the fire let it be born the fire in the name of jesus amen i declare yes sir every person here oh yes Yes, 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 Lord, yes, sir. I declare today, oh, yes, a fire is born. The fire, let a fire be born. The fire, a fire, yes, to fulfill your assignment. Oh, yes, a fire yes. to serve God. The fire, a fire, the fire to do the will of God. The fire. Let a fire be born. The fire. I decree and I declare. The fire. There is a fire that shall be born. The fire. I declare. The fire. Let a fire be born. The fire. There is a fire. Yes, sir. That shall be born. The fire. Let a fire be born. Yes, sir. Let it be born. The fire. A fire to be born. The fire. We decree and we declare. Yes, sir. Let a fire be born. The fire. We declare today. Yes, sir. We declare. Yes, sir. Let a fire. The fire. We prophesy. Yes, sir. Let a fire be born. The fire. A fire. The fire. Fire. The fire. Let it be shut up in your bones. Oh, yes. Let that fire. The fire. A fire to be born. The fire. In the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Let it be born. The fire. 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 Jesus. Listen. How are you? I saw someone take a baby put in your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Prophesy, Papa. I saw Kani pronounced Alina talking. Prophesy, Papa. Huh? And you see, to prove what I'm saying, Mato Frata Mika. Prophesy. Mm -hmm. Do the prophetic. I prophesy. Listen, it's done. Thank you. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Because you were doubting. I receive. You were doubting. Yes. You yes. were? I was doubting. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Uh -uh. Prophesy, Papa. Yes. What you were doubting is what has happened. Amen. Amen. I receive. You were doubting. Yes. I don't want to disappoint myself. Yes. I don't want to go and check. Yes. Let me just wait. Yes. May I know, but I've skipped my menses. Oh, yes. Uh -uh. yes. Prophesy, Papa. I prophesy to you. Yes, sir. Keys dealing our suffering. Oh, yes. Hakapona Sifra. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so, yeah. Yes, sir. Listen, who's February here? February. Huh? huh? Yes, I was born in February. You were born in February? Yes. Prophesy that day. Advance. Mid, mid beginning one. Sorry? The, the beginning on the second. Thank you. Uh, prophesy that day. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, advance. Hatalanoski Vinatos. See. Prophesy. Listen. Let a fire begin in you. Amen. Listen. Bring that woman there. God told me he's giving you a child. I receive. I receive. You were doubting. Yes. Yes, it's true, man of God. Huh? 
It's true, I was doubting. Huh? I was doubting. You're even fearing to go to the hospital? Yes. 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 Jesus. This time, yes. they will not <laughs> play around with it. Inaratoso. Prophesy, Papa. I decree and I declare. Yes, sir. Every person. Oh, yes. That is under the influence of my voice. Yes, sir. You need a miracle. The miracle is in your hands. Amen. <laughs> Let God raise a fire. Yes, sir. Let God raise a fire. Amen. Raise your hands. Say, Oh Lord, oh Lord. may these hands, may these these hands, hands be used by you. Be used Jesus. by you. Begin to pray. Bali pakatan suvara kapita lekata ele parata sipali kata. Oh Lord, may these hands be used by you. Makata ele parata kobra takalita sali brakate li braketo sapa merete sapali kata isale parata sali kata. May these hands be used by you, O God. Balete sabarata ile bote sarita kopa. I bless you all. You are blessed. Amen. As you lift up those hands. Oh yes. May they be used by God. Amen. May they be for the master's use. Amen. These hands. Oh yes. May they be used. Amen. Financially. I receive. May they be used. Oh yes. These hands. Oh yes. May God use them. Amen. Financially, Amen. Amen. Yes, oh yes. I declare today, right now, those hands, oh yes. May they be used, Amen. May they be used. I receive. May they be used. I receive. May they be used, Amen. These hands, oh yes. I prophesy, Jesus. They shall be used, Amen. They shall be used, Amen. They shall be used, Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I bless you. Oh yes. I bless you. Amen. I declare. Oh yes. In the name of Jesus. I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh yes. Jesus. Let every hand be used. Amen. Let them be used. Amen. For a great move of God. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive. Our last prayer point. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Anything. Anything. That was demonic. That was demonic. Which was hiding. Which was hiding. Around my life. Around my life. Today. Today. I expose it. I expose it. Begin to pray. La cosa pacata jante caparatuski valate. Jamakate raduski palateda. Whatever that was hiding around me, Lord, I de declare, Father, to be exposed tonight in the name of Jesus. Arroso ta kata bara de gete gete, yakuze kalibra du sahaya, lebranda katoska bara de, ikarusa kata paleta. I expose it now. I expose it now. I expose it now. Every power of darkness, law. Every power of witchcraft, law. Every power of the enemy, law. That was hiding in my life. Be exposed. Be exposed by fire. Be exposed by fire. I expose you now. I expose you now.
now. I expose you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Leko parada kato shada kaya libre duzi kanuate libre da susu akale paradia ifaso shakladi paradusa irada kata kaleta rakate teke lete parakato yakato saka palakate kere de kato be exposed, be exposed. Every wickedness around my life be exposed right now. Right now, be exposed right now. Yaso katalabaya, yate ke paraduza. Yeso katabaya, leko sade kapalate. Yanda kada kada batato, yako radegete parada kada. Yeso kata paradekato. I expose, I expose every activity of the enemy. Every activity of the enemy. I expose you now. I expose you right now. I expose you right now. I expose you right now by fire. Yeso kata bana katele. Zato kapa. Yekete bende kapa. Yako barakate. Yandeke ranakato. Yako barakate. Gede gede gede. The exposer. The exposer. The exposer. Right now. The exposer. Right now. The exposer. Right now. The exposer. The exposer. Kela sokata na bana kate. Zakuta. Rosa kata. Yede kata ba. Zeke de barado. Yeku ze kate bala. Loka rosi kete lede. Yedo s. Ye de Karabali Keto, Yasuka de Kabalate, Zakabalata, Rosaka de Rabakota, Yuzelebe, Yasoka, Yasota, Laka Parade, Yabo Kabalato, Yasoka Parakato Lepete, Yasaka de Lekabalatora, Lok, I expose her, expose her, I expose law, I expose law, Yasota. Le sota kapara de kete ye do alaka ye de kera da kuze le kete ya ko para kate le de kaba ya kuze kete le bato la kuze talade la kuze beka ye sota kapara ye de kara do skabalete skila para de kuze le de ya de kala para do skabalade ya da kala para de ya sota kaporoto ye de kala para di kato ya Ya so se kelia, ya so se kelia, ya so se kelia. Rado so pa kaleta. Expose law, expose law. Ya so ta kata. That is I did not. I run to my life. Whatever that is I did not. I run to my life. If I lose sight of a balato, I expose it today. I expose it today. I expose it. I expose it, Father. Rasoto ko balate, ye petere, ye kuze bato, la kuze bakaria, ita kadi soso, ya sugata li parade, ya kuze be kataradia. Whatever that is citing, Lord, I expose it right now. I expose it right now, Lord. I expose. Ado saka balate. Every wakes of darkness, Lord. Every wakes of witchcraft, Lord. I dig in my life. I dig around me. I expose it now. I expose it now. Ye kalabara de ketele de bo sataya. E kalato. Pray, 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 pray. Let that force be exposed. Let that power be exposed. Let that force be exposed. Declare wherever you are. Be exposed. Ya da kada mana da ke la kura ye de ke te re de kada ka de ke le de ya so kaba ya ka ya ka to sa ka. Jesus, I declare, you are released. Never again. Never again. Out. Come out. Now. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. I command you out. Leave. On the count of four. One. Two. Three.
three, come out. Four. It's gone. Yes, Sonata. Listen. Where are you coming from? Um, Just say the place. Don't Solve tell me. Solve ah. Yes, man of God. You came alone? Yeah, I, I came with my sister. Where is your sister? Also from Solve Ah, Smile. She's smiling at least. Is it a fight? <laughs> you came from Solve Yes, man of God. I see answers coming. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, answers are coming. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. There are answers that are being released right now. Thank you, Jesus. Prophesy, my man of God. Le prakato sofania. Change the lamento sofrakitovia. Thank you, Jesus. Speak more, man of God. Speak more. I see answers coming. Speak more, man of God. I because them. it looks like you have something to do with teaching. It is true, man of God. What's Very that? true. What's that? I'm, I'm doing my teaching practice at Thank you. Dollar College of Nursing. So listen, I want to sort out the problem that is in your family. Amen, man of God. Deliver us, man of God. There is a problem Deliver us, man that is God. there. But today, God is sorting it out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. There is a problem. Marriages don't last. Thank you, Jesus. Very true, man of God. Huh? Very true, man of Thank God. Thank you. So that problem today, God is giving you the answer. Thank you, Lord. You are, you are too much, man of God. Huh? You are too much. And you see, God is bringing you back to the ministry. Thank you, Jesus. Because you were in the ministry. Hey. Huh? Prophesy, Daddy. You used to be in the ministry. Yes, man of God. But God today is saying, is bring you back to the ministry. Prophesy, Papa. Yes. You, you have seen it right. Atala Sofradea. See. Yetena Sofradi. Advance, advance. Because God is bringing you back to the ministry. It is true, man of God, I preach the gospel. I know. Thank you, Jesus. Power. Mm. Prophesy, daddy. When you see, you see. You have seen it. Yesterday, I was prophesying to people on phone in South Africa. A man who is consistent becomes a master. A man. So, mastery is an inconsistency. Yes, sir. If you notice someone who has not mastered something, it's because they are not consistent. I hear you. Because mastery is an art of consistency. Oh, yes. I drink prophecy. Uh huh. Sleep prophecy. Uh huh. Wake up prophecy. Uh huh. Prophesy. See. I don't pray to prophesy. Uh huh. I pray to get close to Jesus. Power. I hear you. I can't remember the last time I did prayers like, let me go and prophesy. No. Even today I was reading the Bible and watching him preach in my down room. I was not saying, God, go and move. Go and move. No. Just be close to the one who moves. He will move. Amen. Mastery. Oh, yes. Is the art of the consistent. Amen. So now, we have to, because you see, in the realm of the spirit, the enemy tried to mess you up in the area of marriage. It's true, man of God. And actually not even really messing you up. He tried to embarrass you. Very good. Because there was a very big embarrassment that happened to you. It's true, man of God. Prophesy, daddy. Very prophesy. See. Break, actually. Pardon? My marriage is about to break. I know. He wants to embarrass you. It's true, man of God. And they said that woman of God, the husband ran away from her. He very true, and the husband ran away from her because of this woman. Yes. Because you even know the woman. Yes, man. Thank you. Yes. Prophesy, Papa. Lepara Sotomaya. Yes, sir. Prophesy. Advance. <laughs> See. You are Mastery prophesy. is the act of the consistent. If you notice someone who cannot master something, is not consistent. Oh, yes. Because there are certain things you must do the same thing every day to master it. I hear you. It's like when you went for driving school. 
They never taught you anything different from the things they taught you in theory. The only thing that it changed from theory to practical. So listen, the enemy, I told you I said, marriages don't last. Yes. Very true man of God. Do and I that. say it, the enemy wants to embarrass you. Very true man of God. Deliver me, man of God. Do something, daddy. I'm huh? You said yo? I really want to save God, but my marriage has been bringing me down. So God, anyway. Prophesy, Papa. Advance. Yet also no, yeah. See. I wanted to play something. Play it. Just play it. Yatono Sata. Ella Zuzu. I wanted to say something, but my mouth is closed. It's true you want to serve God. Amen. And your marriage is a blockage. It is true, man of God. Very true, man of so God. So now I leave it to Jesus, the one who gave you that marriage. <laughs> List, I am judged. We have so many judges here. And some on TV. <sighs> Let me say something. Marriage is very important. And marriage is very honorable. But God respects more your assignment than marriage. Marriage is important. Very good. Very honorable. But God respects our assignments more than marriages. That's why he called us before we got married. But marriage is important. But God has more respect for assignments than marriage. Because marriage is a temporal thing. It's an earthly thing. Your assignment is taking you into eternity. I think I'm finished. No man of God. Um, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Prophesy for man of God. I need direction. Because if you tell me to choose. That's why. Marriage, you, yeah, I didn't say choose. You see, you're too fast. Professor. Did I say choose? No. no. I said I've taken your marriage. I've left it to the one that gave it to you. But I've just stressed out a point that marriage is honorable. Marriage is good. Marriage is godly. But guess what? God honors more assignments than marriages. Raise your hands. And that's why when you are getting married, marry someone that is aligned to your assignment. Not to your money. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. Marry someone that knows you are God. You have an assignment with God. Not someone that is aligned more to your money. They will rubbish your assignment. And that's why I tell most young men, marry like me when I was struggling. Because money will give you the woman you want. But your struggles will give you the woman you need. Yes, sir. Yes. Money will give you any woman. Money can give you any woman you want. From Las Vegas to Cape Town. You will get anything you want. Yellow, brown, orange, pink, even gray. But you see your struggles will give you a woman you need. Give me the oil. Give me the oil. God values assignments. There is a prophetess in the Bible. I'll show you. God killed the husband just for her to fulfill her assignment. Huh? 
That's deep, sir. Is there? What's her name? Anna. He killed the husband so that she could do the work of God. Because let me tell you something. Marriages are very good. But you see, they are earthly things. I know you won't agree. But you will see in heaven if you'll be calling each other Twitter. I said, come and give you a come and give me a peck. No pecks in heaven. Give yourselves pecks while we're here. Give me a peck, 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 peck. <laughs> yes. And let me tell you something. A marriage works best when both the woman and man are knitted to Christ. Because you see, what do men struggle with? Their eyes. A man that whose eyes is on Christ has no time to look at a woman. Huh? But if there is no Christ in his eyes, his eyes will trouble him. And you'll be always in church praying as if Ashimuana Vampesha. And a woman who's connected to Christ will be submissive. Because the problem of women is submission. <laughs> yes! That's all. And the Holy Spirit, according to Titus, will start teaching her how to love her husband. God bless you. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. <laughs> Jesus. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Amen. Amen. Let's give a big hand to Jesus. Oh yes. So, mom, the rest, I've done my part. Amen. The rest, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And listen, there is a last part that I want to help you. The last thing that is there, you were having a problem with one of your legs. Very true, man of God. Huh? This one. This one, huh? I was feeling to walk. You were feeling to walk? Yes, man of the God. The pen is gone. Ah, I'm done. Let's give a big hand to Jesus. Let's give a big shout to Jesus. Oh, yes. Let's give a big shout to Jesus. Oh, yes. Listen, I pray. Yes, sir. I pray. Yes. That you will fulfill your assignment. Yep. Did you hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. When you go to God, He will just welcome you and say, Well done, faithful servant. He will not start showing you what you should have come on earth. No. May God give you grace to fulfill your assignments. It does not mean you should stop doing your business, you should stop working. No. Understand the place of work. And understand that I am also a man and a woman on assignment. I have an assignment to fulfill with my God. So that when you enter heaven, you will not get shocked. But you will find rewards. Amen. Imagine coming from a good house here and going to live in, in Saka. Fulfill your assignment. Fulfill. That is where you see God. Where have I seen God? I saw God in fulfilling my assignment. Fulfill yours too. Amen. Fulfill yours too. Amen. That's my prayer for you. May you fulfill. Because most of you, you are not fulfilling your assignment. Amen. 
Life is too short. Too short. Very short. Fulfill your assignment. Do what God has called you to do. Be effective in it. Become a master of it. And you will see the hand of God. But the problem that many of us have, we are so busy with a lot of things that at the end you will notice they will take you nowhere. Can you imagine Michael Jackson who used to sleep on an orthopedical bed which is over $60,000 was on morphine, one of the strongest painkillers. A man that used to go in a shop, he had a man next to him who used to control him because he had the disease of shopping. He can go in a shop and shop for $2 million. He was on drugs. He used to plead with the doctor to give him excess because of the pain he was having. All these things you see, they are vanity. I'm telling you, all these things that are making your heart beat, they are vanity. They are vanity. All these things, when I mean all, I mean all. Let everything that God gives you glorify God. That, that way, it is going to have a meaning. Let your marriage glorify God. Let what you do glorify God. Let everything you do, all these things we see, they are vanity. They are nothing. All these things that make your heart beat and feel your life will be more fulfilled, they are useless. What matters is your journey with Christ. I want you to note that. Your journey with Christ. Stick to that. If it is good, make it even better. If it is better, make it the best. Because let me tell you something. All these things that are making your heart beat, they are vanity. Today you'll be married. Tomorrow you'll find yourself a widow or a widower. You will not tell me that you and your husband you will die at the same time. Those are realities of life. I was prophesying to one woman on Zoom. You saw me telling the woman and say, God is telling me you had a very a funeral of someone. She says, my husband died. How better are you to that woman? It's a vanity. Now she's even forgotten the husband. She's saying, pray for another man. Ah, ah, ah. You didn't hear. She said there is a man already. There is a man already. Yes, give me direction. I told her, I said, that's why I prayed for your womb. Can you imagine? So, be careful about what you want to possess. You might find yourself possessing the air. This life we are on, we are renting it's God's. But let me tell you something. When you decide to honor God, he will give you longevity. That's all. I'm telling you. Life has, you see there are certain things we don't want to talk about them. But you see life has got, life has got realities. Today you can be the very most happy person. Tomorrow you can notice you are the saddest person. And you find that what? What was I holding on to? There is nothing. Let's be wise. Wisdom is the fear of God. Is the beginning of wisdom. Listen, make, make a choice to tell God and say, God, let my life glorify you. These things you hold on to, my friend, higher. They are nothing. Nothing. Zero. They are looking something right now, but I can assure you, it is nothing. Let what everything about you glorify God. That is your insurance. I 
end here. Take your offerings, please. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, the neighbor, if you hear the prophetic word, let everything about you glorify God. Let everything about you, God must be involved in the name of Jesus. Raise your tithe. If you are tithing, you can raise your tithe. You can stand up with it. If you're giving your tithe, I bless every tither. I decree and I declare, let every tithe be blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come and drop it here. Come I pray for you. I bless you. In the name of Jesus. I bless you in the name of Jesus. I bless you. I bless you in Jesus' name. Let's give a big hand to Jesus. <laughs> Lift up your offering. Say, Father, as I give, I give away every challenge. I receive the blessing the hand of God, the move of God, the anointing of God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Messiah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come and drop your offerings. Father's Day. Amen. And um, I want to us to honor the father. Not just a father, but also a spiritual father in the house. If we love the man of God, let's just show the love. Let's just show the love. Let's just love for the, our father. Amen. We can do better than that. Amen. Hallelujah. Very quickly, let, let, let me read something uh, in, in Revelation, the, the, the uh, fifth chapter, Revelation chapter 5 and number 12, saying, uh, saying with a loud voice, where is the lamb that was slain to receive power, riches, and wisdom, and strength, and honor? Then you find that there are seven blessings of the lamb, and among the seven fourth blessings of the lamb, there is one blessing that I want us to show today. That is honor. And it has been mentioned twice in the Bible. But before we do that, or before I talk about that, I want you first to help you to understand about the father. You see, a father is a shelter, is a provider. A father is very important. You know, those of you who have, uh, your husband who are fathers, and those of you who are being kept, you know, you still are with your fathers. I want you to understand that that father in your house is very important. And God wants you to honor that one. 
But now, today in the house of God, I'm talking about our father, Provedem Messiah. Listen, a father is a provider, is a defender. And in the Bible, you find that from Genesis to Revelation, and these are biblical truth, you find that the people that were given, you know, the privilege to name children, they were fathers. If we go in the Old Testament, you find that whenever a woman named uh, name, name the, the, the name of, of, of the child or a son, it was always war. But I don't want to go that direction. But I'm talking about the biblical truth. I'm not saying that women are not important, but I'm talking about the biblical truth and the order of God from the Bible, the order of God. Uh, the first man, Adam, in, he, he was the one that named all the animals. And according to what he called them, they, they became and from Adam, Eve was conceived. Amen. God is the father. And so the same anointing that God possesses, he has placed it on the fathers. Are you with me? Are you with me? So when you read in the Bible, you find that uh, uh, whenever a woman names a son, you read, look at the life of Jacob. When he married two women. And these two women, whenever they had children and they named their children, it was always war. I don't, I, I don't want to go there because it's so deep and I, we have no time. But whenever a, a father names a son, then they became great. Remember, the revi remember when the ark of God was, was, was stolen? When one woman she was giving birth and she heard the news about what happened to the ark of God. And the Bible says that she, as she was giving birth, she named the son Ichabod, the glory has departed. If you go by names, women that named their, 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 their sons, it was always war, revenge, you have, I have now taken my word, that and that and that. Look at also this pattern. When Zachariah, after he went in the uh, temple of God, he gave when he gave the, uh, the, the, the sacrifice, then the Lord gave him a word about the, 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 the birth of Elijah. So the birth of uh, John. And when he came out, he was mute. And they were struggling to name the child. When they asked the father, the father just wrote John. And it came to be and it was prophetic. So the father is so, so important. If you read the life about is it Ruthie and Naomi? Ruthie and Naomi, uh, both they became widows. Why? Because the Moabite system, it was an aborting system that used to kill men. But thank God we have powerful women. Amen. Clap for yourself, women. Mothers. Mothers, I mean. Amen. We have powerful mothers. We have powerful mothers. And, and you find that a woman always wants to be, to have a husband so that they can have a name. I'm Mrs. Cheleka. You see that? So, a man, who, a father who give you a name. So, I want us to honor the father in the house. Are you with me? And as you honor the father in the house, the blessing will come to you a double fold. How many are ready to honor the father? I want us to celebrate a father. I'm talking about Prophet Hermes. I want us to honor him. Where your art is, that's where, where your treasure is, that's where your art is. So I want you to check into your heart, your treasure, and get a seed, a prophetic seed, today. And give it to the man of God on the platform here that I want to honor the grace. And I want to honor this man, a father. He's not just a, a spiritual father, but he's also a, a father. I want to honor for this life. This gift. Listen, a man of God is the gift. All the things that you need are in him. So when you honor, you provoke the anointing. So God is not just, has not just given you a, a, a spiritual father, but also a father. So I want you to honor the man of God. As I'm, as I'm right now, as I'm talking to you, I want you to start checking your, your purses, your handkerchief, and give the best seed. Not to pay us 
to no 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 give something big to honor and to celebrate the grace amen many people have died many fathers have died but we have our father here prophet ms hallelujah there he is he's a father so i want us to to honor the grace i want us to honor the grace and as you honor the grace tell god what you are expecting or what you want to see tell also god if you have sons who are small god, who are still young tell god the lord i want them to save you and i want them to be fathers one day like the man of god if you are if they are still in your leons give that lord these that are in my leons i'm giving on behalf as i celebrate the grace if you are a grandfather or a grandmother give for your grandchildren so that they may become fathers amen i want you wherever you are just stand and begin to come to the altar let's just honor the servant of god do we need a basket or what okay you can just drop it or maybe let the ushers collect this then let the people give okay come and drop it there i want you to come and drop let the father look at that woman she's running come here come here come here come and receive the girl oh you are coming here okay come 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 let him lay hands on you honor the grace 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 let's all let's celebrate the man of god let's celebrate the man of god you can keep anything that you have Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate the grace. Let's celebrate what the Father we have in the house. Who prays for us? Who fasts for us? Come on, come on, let's give. Let's give. Let's give. Let's give. Let's give. Let's give. Let's, give. let's honor the grace. Just a minute. Listen. Some of you, your mind is telling you that you uh, know no Just go come bring it. Come bring it. Don't allow that mind to whisper to you. There is a blessing resting on the man of God. Come bring it. Wherever you are, come and bring. Don't feel ashamed. Come and bring whatsoever you have. Come and drop it here. Anything that you have. You also come, come, come before I close. The man of God will lay hands on you. Remember what I said that Joshua was laid hand on by Moses and received a double portion. Come and honor the man of God. Come and honor the grace. The Holy Spirit is speaking to you right now. You are fighting within your spirit. Can I give? Can I give? Maybe some people are giving 50 kwacha. So me have a 10 kwacha. Come and give. God is speaking to you now. Come, 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 come. Come. Come and give. Come and honor. Come and honor. I can see you. I can see you are struggling. You are struggling, but the Holy Spirit is saying that come and honor. Come and honor. Come and honor. Come, come. This is the greatest opportunity you have to give and the man of God lay hands on you. Just the laying hand of. Your life will be preserved. Your life will be preserved. Your life will be, will be preserved. Come and give. You know, I was in a church, Mama, where people, they say that I can't miss a blessing. Let me just give my phone. <laughs> Let me just give, you know, <laughs> my jacket. Because I want to, to receive a blessing from the man of God, a father. Wherever you are, I'm calling you. Come, so come, I'm calling you. Come. It's never too late. Don't feel shy. Don't feel shy. The anointing is here. The anointing is here. <laughs> the anointing is here. The anointing is here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just celebrate the grace. Let's just celebrate the grace. Clap, clap for Jesus. And I want you, wherever you are, just hold your hand next to a person. Let's just pray for the man of God. We are not laying hands on him. He has people that lay hands on him. But I want just to pray and agree for God to preserve his life and also his family. 
Let's just pray wherever you are. Let's just agree. Father, we agree as we celebrate the grace upon your servant. Father, we celebrate this gift that you have given us. We agree as men and women and young men and young ladies. We pray for your servant. Lord, preserve his life. Continue anointing him. Father, watch over your servant. Refresh him. We pray that surround him, Lord, with the songs of deliverance. Let your canopy of your glory envelop him. We are not just praying for him. We are also praying for his family, his household. We declare the blood of Jesus. We agree. We stand as intercessors, as, as men of the spirit. We pray. Lord, as we give offering and give to show love and honor, we also want to pray in Jesus' name for your servant. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let the anointing be ever fresh upon his life. And, and Lord, watch over his family. In Jesus' mighty name. And every champion and child of God, shout amen. And I want you wherever to you are, stand and celebrate the grace. Celebrate the man of God. Thank you, sir. Amen. Thank you so much for your gifts. Let's see our final benediction. I can't hear you. Amen. Let's give a big hand to Jesus. So listen, uh, last week I gave you some time. This week we have some special prayers for two days, which is called Two Days of Exodus. So it is tomorrow and on Tuesday. Then on Friday I'm coming to Luansha. But the Luansha people, I'll come to your bus to talk to you. So on Friday I'm coming to Luansha. And please, don't miss these two days. It's going to be powerful. And the man of God will be also there. And it's going to be called two days of exod. So God bless you. Thank you so much to all our viewers. I love you so very much. May God bless you. May God lift you. And may God's face shine upon you. In Jesus' name, amen. So we'll see you. And uh, have a blessed, blessed night.